Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. So Shavkatzon Rakimov defeats Zelfa Barrett to become the IBF Super Featherweight Champion. This was a vacant title. Um, uh, Rakimov was the favourite going in, and I think most people, I, I picked him to stop Zelfa in 10 rounds. In fact, he stopped him in nine. But as with many results, it does not tell the whole story because Zelfa Barrett gave what for... Uh, seven, eight rounds was his best career performance. Um, Zelfa is an uh, orthodox fighter. Rakimov, Southpaw. Um, Rakimov's from Tajikistan, former Soviet Union satellite nation. Uh, I think it's a small nation, about 10 million people live there. Have they ever had a world champ before? I'm not convinced they have, but oh, I could be wrong. Anyway, Rakimov... Um, was in dire straits actually early on in the fight because Barrett came out with perfect tactics and he came out boxing. Again, orthodox fighter, racking off the southpaw. Barrett had no problem with the southpaw stance. He wasn't just busy and using his feet. He certainly wasn't running. I mean, he was using the rim, but he wasn't running. He was letting his hands go and making um, Rakimov fight at a pace he didn't want to fight. He was keeping busy. He was landing first, Barrett, um, landing some good body punches. And Rakimov was slow out of the traps, to be honest with you. And for three rounds, it really did look as if this, you know, if Barrett could keep it up, which, of course, is a massive if because it's a 12 round fight. Rakimov, he, he, in fact, he wasn't just being outboxed and outworked. He was badly hurt. He was shaken a couple of times in the third round. He was floored. Barrett landed a big right uppercut, which uh, made uh, Rakimov's legs sag. He held on to the, one of the ropes. Um, I don't know whether his knees touched the floor, but the ref quite rightly called it a knockdown. So after three rounds, Barrett is looking the part. Um, and for the next, for the, certainly for the, for the fourth round, I think I gave the fourth round to Barrett, if memory serves. But gradually, 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 Rakimov came back into it and edging forward, putting that you know, physical and mental pressure on Barrett. Barrett is not a heavy, heavy handed puncher. Rakimov clearly is going into this fight. Rakimov, 16 wins and a draw. The draw was to Jojo Diaz, I think. Majority draw, if memory serves. But Rakimov, obviously 16 wins, 13 by stoppage. It's now 14. Uh, gradually he was catching Barrett and Barrett, but nevertheless, Barrett was still still working hard, still competitive, highly competitive, still landing his own punches. You just got the feeling that those heavier hands were gradually sapping Barrett of a little bit of sting and of course the constant footwork, the constant concentration every second of every round um, takes it out of you. But after eight rounds, I had Barrett five, three up in rounds. I thought it was there for the taking for Barrett, um, but Rakimov, all credit to him, he was persistent, he was letting his hands go more, he was headhunting way, way too much for the first five or six rounds, and then he started going to the body, which he should have done much earlier, but body punches, I thought, did have an effect on Barrett, and then in the ninth round, Barrett just unraveled, there was a, Barrett was on the ropes, and there was a big left hook that landed to the body of Barrett, and it really got his attention and he he tried to come off the ropes but was met by a big right hand I think it was a big right cross possibly and that shook Barrett and for the first time Barrett looked really quite distressed and he tried to fiddle his way out of it pivot his way out of it he ended up in one of the opposing corners and then sagged to the floor after another barrage from from Rakimov Barrett pulled himself up got both gloves on the rope and hurled himself up um, but his legs were not steady. Well, the commentator said, was there an injury? Barry Jones, very good commenta commentator, Barry Jones, he said he thought it might be a pop deer drum, which was affecting Barrett's equilibrium. But I don't know. I, I, I looked to me like he'd just been tear. There was a, the, the big left hook to the body and the, a couple of seconds later, that big right cross that um, Rakimov landed, I think, badly hurt Barrett and he couldn't quite recover. He started firing punches back. He was sort of pinged into another corner and trapped and then hit the floor again. His uncle, Pat Barrett, already, was already on the ring apron with the towel. The ref didn't see that, but he stopped the fight anyway. And, you know, fair enough. And it, So a ninth round TKO for Rakimov. 
Um, but Barrett has nothing to be ashamed of. I think he took this fight at four or five weeks' notice, so he didn't have an ideal camp in terms of of the time to prepare. But his tactics early on were very, very good, and his performance was excellent for you know seven rounds, maybe. Um, and uh, there are plenty of holes in um, in Rakimov's game. I mean, Joe Cordino, who got stripped of the IBF, this IBF title that Rakimov's picked up. He'll be looking at that, and yeah, the power is there. But Cordina's got a bit more pop than Barrett. And if he can land just as Barrett was landing, Rakimov could be in trouble. That's the, that's the next fight for, for Rakimov. Um, Barrett can come again. I mean, Rakimov's 28. Um, Barrett is 29, so they're, they're both in their prime. I don't think there's any shame in losing a fight like this at all. Uh, an experience of going to Abu, Abu Dhabi was... Uh, it was good, you know. It's, it's going to be good. I mean, traveling gives you experience under different lights, away from away from the home cooking. That's not a bad thing. It's not a bad bit of experience. But yeah, good fight. Did you see it? If so, leave your comments below. Um, thanks for subscribing. Of course, if you're new, please subscribe. Cost you nothing. Just hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like the video. And uh, yeah, let me know your comments. I always like reading them. Thanks. We'll speak again soon. Bye for now.